Now, welcome back. Just one of those days where we're grabbing the jackets as you step out just because it's so cool. Well below average for this time of year. Temperatures uh, stuck in the 40s in many locations at this hour and the rain knocking on our doorstep just off towards the south and east. It's not making much progress to the north and west because we have a strong blocking high pressure system over southern Canada, but eventually that will ease and allow this precipitation to approach from the south and east here through the course of the overnight period. It looks kind of wet for our Saturday as well. Not a lot of heavy precipitation, but just some drizzle out there and some below average temperatures. Our weather story for tonight. Well, we're calling for the showers to develop again from southeast to northwest here through the course of the overnight. Chilly with showers continuing off and on on Saturday. Temperatures mid and upper 40s for highs and then low 60s with drier conditions for our Sunday. So Hurricane Joaquin just off the southeast coast finally making that jog up towards the north. It's been kind of drifting off towards the west or southwest for the last couple of days and it's weakened just a bit. Uh, winds down to 125 miles an hour, so a category three now on the Saffir Simpson scale. Yesterday was a category four, but still a strong hurricane. But notice the latest path taking it well off to the east of the east coast here. So no worries along the immediate coast, at least uh, with the hurricane. But there is that frontal boundary, which is lining up right along the mid-Atlantic coast, which is the focus for a lot of heavy rainfall down towards the Carolinas. But again, for the hurricane itself, it'll stay east of the United States. Temperatures right now 49 in Hornby and in Watkins Glen 49 in Spencer only 39 the current temperature in Gilton. These temperatures only slowly dropping here for the next couple of hours. Uh, there's that rain down towards the south and east and again that's where the heaviest rain will occur as we go through the weekend. We'll be on the northwestern fringe of this precipitation on the lighter side of it but it'll still be a damp day tomorrow and temperatures will struggle just a, a inch towards 50. Uh, showers uh, best bet tonight uh, south of Route 6, but then lifting north through the overnight 50 in Elmira right now in Rochester 45 in Bradford high school football action for tonight dry for most of the games. Big game Athens at Wellsboro Wellsboro undefeated 7 o'clock kickoff 47 cloudy skies and cool conditions temperatures dropping off to near 40 overnight tonight showers uh, off and on tomorrow 48 that's our five degree guarantee we should be in the low to mid 60s for highs this time of year future track 7 o'clock tomorrow morning showing the showers pushing up from the Keystone State off and on at times again it's not going to be a constant rain but a lot of drizzle out there and a light rainfall and then it'll tend to taper tomorrow evening Sunday looking a lot better still cloudy skies but the skies will tend to brighten a bit and we'll be looking at temperatures into the lower 60s and much of next week pretty decent as well our five degree guarantee for today we forecast 57 so far though only 50 so if that holds $36 to the charity of the month 40 is what we're forecasting for a low tonight even a few upper 30s out there and uh, we'll be looking at the 48 for tomorrow's five degree guarantee. First warning, 7 forecast showing a nice stretch of weather next week with high temperatures in the 60s.